heading out for a few drinks on Friday if you want to, um... Oh, you're staying in and looking at old maps and thinking about your dead dad. Um, okay, well, we were thinking of dinner on Wednesday. It's chicken wings night. Da -da. No, no, you're going to Syria to break into a place of cultural significance and steal what's inside for your own private collection. Okay, I mean, if that's what you... Is that even legal? Lara Croft and I just wouldn't be friends. Look, I get that she's been through a lot since her 2013 reboot. At this point, it feels like there isn't anything in the natural world that she hasn't fallen off, broken, or screamed at. But her latest adventures in Rise of the Tomb Raider were undertaken voluntarily. She still falls off stuff with alarming regularity, but all this was 100% her idea. After being shipwrecked on Yamatai, she could have returned to Croft Manor and continued spending her trust fund on butlers and comedically oversized fridges. But here she is, off on another adventure, despite the fact she seems to get absolutely no enjoyment out of it. Lara, you're young and rich and own a really nice leather jacket. Go out and do a few Jaeger bombs and dance to some Britney, you'll feel loads better. Don't get me wrong, the action in Rise of the Tomb Raider is excellent. I do genuinely feel like Lara is a survivor. In combat, she's cool and focused, she gets stuff done. Sometimes I even suspect there's a glimmer of enjoyment in her eye every time she sticks an ice axe in a bad guy's eye or an arrow in their throat. But when the time came for us to pitch camp, tired from murdering and stealing things that don't belong to us, I'd probably end up rolling her sleeping bag down the nearest hill the second she started soliloquizing about how much pain and suffering she's going through. No, no, you can't think like this, Lara, or you really will drive yourself crazy. Wind your neck in, girl, just get on with it. <gasps> Nobody wants to be around someone who feels this sorry for themselves about a globe-trotting adventure they've willingly subscribed to. Incoming. And I don't trust anyone who wouldn't make funny noises just to test out the acoustics when they're all alone in a giant tomb that hasn't been opened in centuries. <laughs> or list off a string of curse words every time they fell off or onto something. Does Lara even remember what fun is at this point? I do like Rise of the Tomb Raider, I just wish it would lighten up. The story is complete rubbish, something about an ancient city and a rock or a plate or a cup or something that gives you eternal life. And yet everyone is so serious about it. If you're gonna tell a story that's been told about a billion times before, have a bit of fun with it. Yes, Lara Croft is certainly a badass, but I think I'd rather take my chances alone in the wilderness than spend another five minutes listening to her complaining. Happiest memories, Dad, being out on the digs with you. Especially when you gave me my own little plot to excavate. I liked that. Feeling that I was part of something important. Yeah, all this is really fascinating and all, but just I put it in a WhatsApp and I'll read it later, okay? Hello, this is Chris Bratt from Eurogamer, and I wanted to talk about the new heroes that were introduced to Overwatch yesterday. Uh, I've gone hands-on with each of the three characters, played a couple of games, and I thought I could give some initial impressions as to how they controlled and how they also fit into Overwatch in a wider sense. Uh, or at least the beta, anyway. Um, starting out with Deether, who is the excellent pro StarCraft 2 player who rides around in a giant pink mech. I've got so much time for that. 